When I was a boy, we used to play a game called Muck Muck. Whoa, hello there, super spinning platform. I like the lizards around here. They have a really funky walking animation, and if they weren't walking directly into me, I'd probably stick around and watch it a little more. Can we get a good view of it right there? <laughs> Man, that is that is messed up. That looks like a Joe Cartoon Flash animation. Boy, you are old if you can remember that. Hey, we've got the uh, Sagging Chrysalis Bridge. That's a nice return there. Anything useful up here? This is a very narrow platform, so probably... Oh, nothing straight up, though. I kind of probably got to, like, veer to the right. Okay. Oh, it's pretty much just an alternate route, probably. If I do get anything useful out of this... Actually, I may have missed all the useful things. <laughs> any... any? Oh, hey, hello. Yeah, you're supposed to probably get me up into there. Well, let's just keep jumping until you do something for me. Whoa, hello. Did I actually... No, I got great. I grazed the ledge. Okay. Okay, okay. Well, carrots can't refill fire shields, but whatever. Probably never going to be up here again, so I might as well... God. Is there any... Well, I could have just gotten up there. Okay. I did it kind of backwards in the hard way, then. Oh, wow, it's cute. Whoa! Okay, yeah, that did damage me. Okay, yeah. Probably should not stand on green muck. Let's go ahead and... Oh, yeah, sure. Okay, that's wonderful. Actually, that's probably... You probably get there from somewhere else. So, I kind of missed my opportunity there. And bye-bye, Fire Shield. I'm going to have to actually be careful now about where I go and what I do. Boy, those platforms... There we go. I'm starting to get the hang of them. They're actually not that bad if you know when to jump. And it's not like they are going to send you hurtling into anything lethal. Oh, hey. Hurtling into anything lethal, you know, like a blind drop or something. Jeez. The blind drop, the enemy of the Jazz Jack Rabbit Explorer. Oh, hey. This is probably just, yeah. That's just a step down into... Hey, wow. Halfway point already? Dang. Can I actually stand on? I can. They look like the little Mario 1 grass things, except way more detailed and awesome. Hey, guy who was standing down there on a ledge. Yet another blind drop. Boy, maybe maybe that's why they have red eyeballs, because they have to go blind from these stupid drops they made. They probably landed right on their stupid faces. Where do you think you're going, buddy? I don't think so. Oh, yeah, you're despawning. That's a, okay. I see what you're doing there. Let's see. If I go up, there will probably be something way more profitable in my future. Huh? Wasn't there a swing in? Yeah. Excellent. Okay, yeah. This is probably much better than taking that springy thing down. Well, speaking of springy things. There we go. Okay. I see. I'm getting it. It's all coming back to me now. See, it's weird. I've played these at least once, but I have virtually no stored memory of them in my head. I should be using launchers. Why the hell am I not launching these crazy dudes with... They need to put some clothes on. There's something... <laughs> something feels moderately sinful about this, the way they're just walking around in their shame. But hey, they are natives after all. Maybe they're just going native, as it were. Whoa, I'm at the very far right edge of the level. That's, that's new and interesting. Usually you're at the bottom of a level, and you're like, oh, that's cool, but then you get to the far right of a level, and somehow an exit's not involved? That's cool. So where is the exit? That's what I'm wondering. Where's a bonus gem, for that matter? I'd like to I'd like to know where that's coming up. Hmm. Okay, yeah, I feel like I'm missing something by not taking out all these guys. Wow, that was almost really colossally stupid. Yeah, boy, a whole lot of nothing that I missed. <laughs> well, that is the life of the Stow Ward Explorer sometimes. Sometimes you think you're missing something, and what you're really missing is bupkis. So, if we roll down the hill here... We're still only on the first level, aren't we? Boy, I thought we were on level 2 for some reason. Boy, this is just... Well, it's flying by in my head, anyway. Let's drop down very carefully... Although, fat lot of good that's done us so far. Alright, into the first level. Dang, we are cooking like a boss through there. 
Yeah, I have a feeling I definitely missed some things. A one-up for sure. That was probably a lot of it right there. Weird little starting platform, but okay. Let's see. Let's. What do I get if I drop down in there? I get to explore the level. That's what I get. Although I feel like there was something above me here. Maybe not, though. Okay, yeah. You stay on your side of the fuzzy grass, and I'll stay on mine. That is a nice little background detail. That's very... I don't know why, but I get an Earthworm Jim vibe from that, even though that's not necessarily correct or anything. That's how it makes me feel. And that's what's important to me about games, how they make me feel, not how they actually are sometimes. Let's just keep a barrage of bullets going in case there are frogs that have mastered the art of walking across bridges. We actually get to turn into a lizard at some point. I don't want to reveal too much too soon, but, uh... There's a uh, level that's going to be... There's a secret level in these uh, extra episodes that is kind of like... What's its face? Where are you, Swingy Ledge? There you go. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, boy, I got to pretty much make my stop right now, don't I? Oh, hey, yeah. I'll, whoa, what the... F okay, that's going to be fun to get to. But yeah, there's a secret level where we'll get to uh, change into a monster, just like we got to change into a hip-hop. Way all the way back in Diamondus, back whenever this series debuted, which feels like it was a zillion years ago. Maybe hip-hop will be slightly useful here, or maybe I'll get hit by a hip-hop, or get hit by a hip-hop, yeah. As if they're going to turn on me. Well, maybe they might for all the abuse I wreak on them. Although they're the stupids that get caught in cages. Okay, yeah. Here comes some fun platforming right here. If this isn't Seizure City, I don't know what is. Okay, well, I at least made it to a safe fish area. Okay, uh, now if I can just get up to the second part. But it won't, seemingly won't let me, there we go. Okay, yes, checkpoint, please. <laughs> okay, can I get through the wall? Can I get through the wall? Please let me through the wall. I gotta be able to get through that wall at some point. Did I seriously, like, miss launchers because I wasn't willing to go through a wall at some point? That's really going to cheese me off if that's true. Damn, that sucks. God, these platforms... Boy, I'll take the swinging platforms any day, please. Good God, yeah, I should have concentrated on him first. I had all the time in the world to get him. Okay, now that this... God, stop, 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 stop. Please stop the level. I want to get off. Now, if I run and gun it, I ought to be able to do this without any help, or maybe not. Okay, yeah, I'll take all the help I can get, plus an invincibility. Yeah, um, wow, now I'm like double pissed that there was invincibility there. And that always seems to happen to me. It's like, oh, bye hip-hop, oh, by the way, I could have been totally impervious to damage. Not that you're interested in that, since you only go away after one hit. Man, Jazz is kind of addicted to hip-hop. Not the musical genres. I don't know how musical genres treat each other, but... Probably not at all, because they're just abstract categorizations that we place upon them. I am really letting this get away from me, aren't I? Up and through. There we go. Boy, I was worried about not fighting that, because I really want to play... Wow, and right here we are at the end. Man. Boy, I know they put them at the end there, but that was like... Damn, that... Wow, how did I 100% that? Double hundred, all right, and we'll be fighting a boss after this, so, uh, stick around, we're not going anywhere, except for a bonus level. This might be the one, please let this be the one. This is not the one, but I gotta get 45 gems, holy shit. Okay, well I swear we're going to run into that thing eventually, and it is a toughie. If I never find it, then I'm probably just gonna have to film it separately as a bonus. <laughs> <coughs> Huh. Ooh, body sign that I'm doing too much talking. Why don't we just revel in the 45 gymnasts of the... Holy crap, I gotta get moving. There's only a minute and a half here, and I'm only a little over a third of the way through. Alright, don't turn this into an obstacle course game. But yeah, you can see they're starting to get, actually, the bonus levels are starting to get palpably harder. They were pretty much a cakewalk in the first six episodes, but I guess the, uh, the CD-ROM episodes provided a chance to offer up some strategy, but I don't think I'm going to be needing that extra time, because 
Uh, well, now I have a forking path, and I probably took the wrong way, didn't I? Well, semi the wrong way, at least. It all kind of converged in a circle, didn't it? Oh, hey, there was an exit right up there. If I'd have gone up the middle path, that would have been a disaster. But as it is, no disaster. And I get to take on what I think is a really easy boss if memory serves. Alright, back to guardianing. Who knows what he looks like? I guess we'll just have to find out. Okay, let's get out something like rapid fire missiles, though. That'll... Whoa, hey! Some kind... Oh, yeah, I remember this, dude. He's like some kind of Sonic knockoff. Destroying, like, two hits. He's... <laughs> yeah, if that's not Sonic... Oh, boy. I had forgotten about him. <laughs> he kills me. Oh, man. He has a Sonic mask and a purple tail? No, he doesn't... Doesn't remind me of anybody. That's a neat little picture right there, though. Hey, why'd you drop out, Melody? Yeah, okay, yeah. As if the appearance wasn't enough. Cleaned up Mucka Muck and taught Zunik a lesson. <laughs> that was kind of a... Weird, unnecessary take that. I mean, this game is already pretty much better than most Sonic games I've played. It doesn't really need to rub it in its face. Loony, wacky locations I know! <laughs> I don't think wacky really fits with rock and roll, but hey, another high score for me. Waka waka doo doo, yeah!